The National Agricultural Genotyping Center is a not-for-profit corporation that will provide laboratory research and support services and will be a driver for agricultural business development. There have been millions of dollars invested in genomic research, and it is time to start putting that information to work solving problems. We need to turn landmark scientific discoveries into useful solutions as American agriculture addresses our country's domestic challenges. The National Agricultural Genotyping Center is a joint project between the National Corn Growers Association, one of the most influential and active agricultural associations, and Los Alamos National Laboratory, the preeminent research facility in the world. Los Alamos National Laboratory developed a patented genotyping platform called MOLPCR for the Departments of Energy and Homeland Security, and their goal is that the National Agricultural Genotyping Center will leverage this technology and others to help improve agriculture and help fulfill Los Alamos's national security mandate. Genotyping exploits genetic differences among species and among individuals within a species. Genotyping can identify the presence of plant and human pathogens not only in the laboratory, but also in the field. Why is this important? It can help us increase production, protect the environment, and improve public health and safety. The National Agricultural Genotyping Center has three core functions. The first is to help increase food production, safety, and security. The second is to make high-throughput genotyping available to all agricultural interests. And third is to spin out new companies and develop innovative research into commercial products. Los Alamos's MOL PCR platform is a better, faster, cheaper way to genotype. MOL PCR is highly accurate. MOL PCR combines multiplex tests and high throughput, and no other platform can generate information on the scale that MOL PCR can. Multiplexing allows multiple DNA bases to be analyzed in one test, and high throughput is running a large number of samples in a short time using automation and flow cytometry, which was also invented at Los Alamos. Drastic reductions in the cost of genotyping will have a large impact by allowing access to technology that would otherwise be too expensive. Just as computers and smartphones have become ubiquitous on today's farms and ranches, Genotyping will become involved in every aspect of agriculture, from breeding, to production, to processing, to food safety, thus helping to feed the hungry and improve human health. Of course, NAGC will also offer other technologies and platforms to meet changing needs. Regardless of where you work, public or private sectors, or what plant, animal, or microbe is of interest, NAGC will make high-throughput genotyping available to you. As genotyping technology becomes more commonplace, we need to educate future workers and the general public about the power of genotyping. Improved breeding will lead to better yielding crops and more productive livestock. Better and cheaper pathogen detection will decrease production losses. Detecting human pathogens prior to products reaching the market will save lives and money. Soil microorganisms are a poorly understood and underutilized component of crop production, and testing for beneficial microbes will help improve production efficiency. Innovation is driven by small companies, and unfortunately, agriculture lags behind other industries and startup companies. NAGC services can be an asset to startup companies. Furthermore, NAGC-proven technology can be the basis for new startup companies. The space between research and commercialization is called Death Valley for a reason. The NAGC can take research findings and help develop them into commercial products. One of our great challenges is that the amount of federal funding that supports agricultural research is insufficient. We've seen the budget debates going on in Washington, it's clear that funds for agricultural research are not likely to increase in the future. Now is the time for all interested parties to invest in American agriculture.